The game was all about rhythm. Safe to say we had a lot of rhythm today. Uh, yeah, it was definitely better. Um, as we've been talking about, it, always, it don't always result in wins, but um, for a few games, we definitely have been doing things better. Um, you know, guys are starting to um, understand their roles um, a little bit better. Um, it just haven't resulted in as many wins as they won. But you know, today was you know it was a it was a great game from the standpoint of we didn't do everything perfect, um, but we did enough to win the game. Last couple games, those mid rangers are going down for you. Feeling good out there? Yeah, feeling better. Um, as you get in better condition, uh, you understand where your where your uh, where your shots are coming from, you know, and things like that. So I'm a rhythm player, um, you know, so I got to play in rhythm. Um, so you know, right now, just whatever the game. Some nights is different than others, but the last two games, um, it's been it's been cool being able to finish games and being able to play you know 20 plus minutes and have opportunity to do a lot of things on the court. Um, so just want to help the team any way I can when I'm on the floor and um, was able to do that tonight in a different way than I did on um, the game where I scored more, but we lost. Um, it's all about getting the win. Doing tonight, 18 assists on 41 made shots. Is is there a certain percentage that you guys are looking for more on a nightly basis? Uh, Versus a team like this, um, it's hard to get assists because they switch one through four, and they're very long, so they flatten you out. So it's really hard to, to get assists versus them. You, def- you just got to make shots. You got to make plays um, versus them. But, you know, um, other nights, you know, we want to move the ball around versus teams that go under and show and they're doing all these things. Um, but tonight, once you play the Bucks, it's a different kind of game. And you got successful by making shots. And um, was able to do that tonight. It was good to see JR um, get off, get up, get going early and continue that. Um, you know, we need that. And uh, tonight, you know, he, he shot the ball well. He played with a lot of confidence. And, um, you know, that's going to make our team that much better. At the start of the fourth quarter group, it was a strange one. I don't know how often that? it's been used. It was you, JR. Amon, Kyle. Kyle, and Jeff at five. Yeah. Um, is that one that you used a lot, number Never. one, behind the scenes? Never. And, and what was the importance of that group to start that quarter? Um, it, yes, to answer your question, like I said, we never use that group. It's in the, in this early in this season, with, with certain guys being in and out or you know voucher or whatever, um, we've been able, we've been having to use groups that we haven't. But at some point, we're gonna have to use every group, <laughs> so there won't be an excuse. But you know, our goal in that group is they were small and we were small was just to get stops and get out and go. Um, you know, Sean bought a lot in that group as well. And you know, whenever Kyle's out there, he's you know, he's dynamic because everyone has better than him. Then you put Jr. another shooter. Uh, so it was fun for me just playing in that group and playing those guys. They was very aggressive, and we was getting stops. And we was able to get out and kind of push the lead up. What's it like uh, blocking a six eleven guy as a six four six five guy? Whenever you do that, you just go up and you hope that you you just you get lucky sometime because it could go the other way. Uh, so I definitely was in the right place and that was behind him. <laughs> and uh, I swung hard, wrist hurt a little bit from it, and I got lucky. It's one of those ones that if I miss, you know, they go into the monitor and they are gonna look at it, you know. But uh, just trying to make a play on the ball, you know, and I got lucky and got, got me a block. So. Dwayne, with Giannis, there's a lot of communication with you guys in huddles, specifically to him. What does he require from you guys defensively? Uh, everything. Um, he puts so much pressure on your defense, and you know he makes you question your defense. He he makes you change your defense. Um, so we had to make a lot of adjustments, and for us, it's all about communicating. And you know, from the players, you know, and the coaches. So I thought we did a great job of it today. When we need to make an adjustment, we shot 16 for 21. So I don't know how many adjustments we made. That was good. Um, but you know, when we need to make adjustment. I thought late in the game, uh, we did that when we was able to, when we were switching, and they threw it in the post, and we brought traps right away. I thought that took them out their rhythm some and made the other guys make plays. Um, so it's just a lot of communication. It's just if you're behind the bench. As you're starting to see that guys are getting a little bit more familiar with each other. It's not as quiet as it was early in the year. Um, so that's that's a great thing. In this road trip together uh, for about a week, right, on the road, can that be a good thing for you guys? Well, it's definitely going to be a great thing for us off the court. We're definitely going to hang together, you know, eat together, go you know, different places together. Um, you know, we just got to continue to understand what makes us successful on the basketball floor. Um, as a team, is um, it's how hard we have to play. You know, we, we can't just show up and play. We got to go out there and give give a lot. You know, to the point where you know, like I said, we should be exhausted at the end of the night. And that's just the way we're gonna have to play. Um, so you know, we got some good teams on this road trip starting in Houston, obviously, and um, it's a great challenge. So we'll see how we respond. It is hard to find like an actual break point in the schedule for games to keep coming. Houston's in two days, but you chose tonight as your opportunity to kind of apologize to the fans and almost like move off of this phase. Of this um, <laughs> yeah. Do you feel like that this is 
something that the team has now gone through and is able to go to the next step? Well, we, the thing, what I, what I, in my experience, what I've learned, you're going to go through different things throughout the year. This was the first one. Uh, for the first 10, 11 games, we went through something. Um, you know, from our fans who come to support us, uh, we failed them by, you know, not winning enough games at home, not giving them enough to cheer about. Um, but, you know, now we move on from this phase, hopefully, and we move into another. Then we have another something, and we have to figure out as a team how to, how to get over that. And, but at the end of the day, we all getting over it together. You know, we all out there together. So, um, you know, like I said, I look forward to this four-game road trip. It's not, it's not easy playing with the home, but uh, everybody in this locker room played for the challenge of the game and competition. So, you know, it gets no, it gets no better than that.